When you think of Honda, you think excellent motorbikes and reliable, inexpensive vehicles. Well, what if about 10 years in the future, you think of Honda as a space and time traveling machine company with a humanoid robotics? <laughs> Things are getting really weird in this article today, but it makes it fun, a little bit scary. Honda introduces initiatives in new areas, and some of them are pretty cool. Some of them are downright freaky. One of the new areas which I'm all on board for is the electrical or uh, vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, which is also known as an eVTOL. They're also working on an avatar robo robot, which... I mean, it scares the hell out of me, but we'll get into that in a little bit more detail. And then they are going to talk about their plans for outer space. Yes, outer space Honda. So this eVTOL is going to have Honda's years and years of experience and uh, developments in electrification built into a gas turbine and they're going to make it a hybrid and that will extend the range on the eVTOL. It's not like going to take you across the entire ocean. That would be a very bad idea, at least with our current technology with batteries. So it's going to be mainly for probably distances around 100 to 200 miles is what I'm going to say. So they're saying this eVTOL is going to be quiet due to the relatively small diameter of its rotors. And that's something, if you think of a, a spinning rotor on a helicopter, helicopters are loud as hell, but they're saying because it has a bunch of small diameter rotors, as we can see in this image, that it's going to be much quieter. Well, I hope so, because if could you imagine these things flying all around the city? Like, talk about noise pollution. They're saying all electric eVTOLs face a range issue due to limited battery capacity. Therefore, the realistic use area is limited to intra-city transportation. Even though they want to go city to city, it's inside the city. So we're talking probably flights of less than, I don't know, 40 minutes or so. They have really cool diagrams here detailing all their technologies that are being put into the eVTOL. Even from their Honda Jet technology, that's making its way into there. They're racing their hybrid and electric vehicles, which they don't have a whole lot of electric vehicles. The Honda E uh, being the only one that I can think of. I think they had the Clarity, was the Clarity a full electric vehicle or is it a fuel cell? They also have a plug-in hybrid Clarity anyways. That vehicle's been canceled, so it doesn't matter. And then you have, uh, you know, Honda sensing safety features and things like that. Now, if the movie like iRobot ever scared you, well, things are about to get that, that weird and crazy here. Honda Avatar Robot will make virtual mobility possible. And there's not a lot of AI being built into this thing, but think of this Avatar Robot as kind of like a Gundam. But instead of being inside the machine itself, you are like sitting in your room with a headset and gloves on. It's really weird. And the creepy video Honda showed with this avatar, they're talking about, oh yeah, if you're a doctor at home, you can spend time with your kids and slip on the headset and go save someone's life who's having a heart attack through a robot. So uh, yeah, it's, it's weird to think about and it doesn't seem like a peaceful work-life relationship in that regard, but I'm sure there are use cases where it would make a lot of sense. But I mean, essentially, this is just the first step of becoming the Matrix, right? Like, that's how I see it. It's right around the corner. Honda wants to put this Avatar robot into use by the 2030s. They want to show technology demonstration testing before the end of the fiscal year ending March 31st, 2024. Challenges in the field of space technology. And now, before we read this, I want to go back to the top because there's a very interesting line at the top that makes you uh, a little queasy in the stomach. Honda's pursuing outside the box research on technologies that will bring about new value for people by extending the potential of mobility to the third dimension, like we talked about the avatar robot. Then the fourth dimension, which defies the constraints of time and space and ultimately into outer space. So they're working on, sounds like time machines or teleportation devices. Yeah, interdimensional travelers Honda is working on being. They're building a circulative renewable energy system on the lunar surface by leveraging Honda fuel cell technologies and high differential pressure water electrolysis techniques. I mean, the, the diagram doesn't seem that complex, so I'm sure they'll be able to do it fairly soon. And they're going to be using variants of the Honda avatar on the surface of the moon. Now, Honda engineers are also researching and developing a small reusable rocket by applying Honda's core technology, such as combustion fluid control and guidance technologies. That sounds good. It's better than an unreusable rocket. And in one of the slides, Honda really wants to make it to Mars and do all sorts of fun stuff there. So we're living in weird times where car companies are transitioning into other fields of mobility 
into the next dimension. And I want to bring this up real quick. This is quite comical. Toyota Global page. Toyota launches the Sea Walk in Japan, a new form of walking area mobility. Uh, it's it's an electric scooter. It only goes like eight miles an hour and has a range of something like six to eight miles, something like that. It can hold around 220 pounds or 100 kil kilograms. And they say it only takes about the same footprint in, in terms of size as someone walking down the street. So don't think of this as anything superior to walking, to be honest. I would say it would be excellent for people who would enjoy sitting down or maybe they're, they're elderly or they just aren't able to walk. And that makes a lot of sense in these use cases or they can hook it up to their wheelchair. But for the average person who can walk, um, I feel like being dependent on things that don't go any faster than walking, it's just going to make you worse at walking and probably overweight. So I, I don't see the purpose of this, to be honest. And the name is horrible. Sea Walk, also known as Crip Walk here in America. It's it's not a, it's, it's a cool dance. I, I used to do it, you know, like in middle school and high school growing up in the streets of, of small, small town, Nebraska, like, oh yeah, let's check how good my sea walks coming around, along. Like it was fun to do the dance, but little did I know I, you know, I was representing a, a gang group while doing it. I had no idea. I just, I'm like, oh yeah, look, the rappers are doing the sea walk. Let's do sea walk. Anyways, it has a brushless DC motor, big surprise, lithium ion battery, front wheel drive, can't, you guys are not going to be able to drift this thing. And price. Well, this is yen. So if you convert it to US dollars, it's probably around 3,000 US dollars. It ha At least it has a removable lithium ion battery that you, you can charge in about two and a half hours. So it weighs about 29 kilograms, which is probably a little over 60 pounds. The rated motor output is 0.25 kilowatts, which is probably something like a third of a horsepower. But don't worry, guys, this is only for Japan. So here in America, you can get uh, ridiculous, really high powered and really fast electric scooters. This to me makes most sense for people who are already not able to walk very well or in a wheelchair. So it doesn't make sense for people who are already able bodied. But anyways, last piece of information here, Toyota Corolla Cross is coming to China, but they're calling it the Frontlander. That's all I want to say about it. It's a bit silly. But yeah, Chinese Corolla Cross is called the Frontlander, not the Front Runner or anything like that. But I'm going to end it there. Honda it wants to bend the rules of physics, bending time and space to travel the galaxy, which I mean, that's cool. I, I like to do that too. And Toyota making scooters, electric scooters before they're making electric vehicles. I mean, it's easier to do. The application seems to be completely pointless to pe for people who can walk. We do have sales numbers coming in today because it is the first of the month and I'm really excited to bring it to you, but we'll probably have to wait till tomorrow to uh, really dive in and discuss those numbers. But I'm going to end it there. Smash the like button. If you enjoyed today's video, subscribe for more Toyota, Honda, Japanese, and Korean auto news. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.